War Within Delves is an amazing new feature for casual WoW players like myself. But are the rewards going to be good enough to keep players hooked? In this video, I'll guide you through everything you need to know about the rewards you can obtain and share the best strategies for getting the most out of them. While the main focus will be on gear progression, I'll also touch on the cosmetic rewards you can earn. And as a bonus, we have a first ever Delves Great World opening in a War Within Beta. There's a total of 12 different Delves available throughout the world. The difficulty is starting at tier 1 and going all the way up to 11. Tiers 1, 2 and 3 are available while leveling, fluidly integrated into campaign and questing. And then tiers 4 to 11 only available during a season and offer greater rewards. And of course a secret 13th Delf, Zachary Slayer, is only available at tier 12 difficulty this single boss fight provides the ultimate Mage Tower-like challenge and a seasonal prestige. And this brings us nicely into the main topic of this video, gear progression and delves. Starting in tier 4, end of run rewards begin at item level 577 and increase to item level 603 by tier 8. And for the Great Vault, tier 4 grants a 597 champion track gear, while both tier 7 and 8 provide enticing hero track gear at item levels 610 and 616 respectively. Fair to say that most players should be able to complete up to tier 8 with a little bit of practice. Delves 9 through 11 on the other hand are purely meant as a challenge and have no increased item level associated with them. Now that we've covered what rewards we can get from the Delves, let's talk about how to actually obtain them. Running a regular Delve doesn't guarantee epic reward by default. The chests at the end of the run are green quality and only contain lower track gear, crests, valor stones and undercoin, uh, which is a new currency used to purchase delve seasonal rewards. This is where bountiful delves come in. Every day a few of the delves will appear empowered, named bountiful delves. Bountiful delve base chests are upgraded in quality. Additionally, they contain one locked epic chest if you complete the delve with lives remaining. These lock chests require coffer keys that can be obtained from doing world quests and other open world activities, but do guarantee an epic gear drop. Bountiful delves will be consumed upon completion, which means there is a limit how much gear you can farm daily in delves, but that's still plenty. Currently on beta, up to four delves are selected to be bountiful every single day. It is random every day to encourage players to see more delves and their variants. And so combining higher level base chests with a guaranteed epic chest makes bountiful tier 8 delves the most efficient way to gear up, even if you don't have a key, and it guarantees max level Great Vault rewards. But that's not all. What if I told you there is another way of getting a guaranteed epic reward that goes beyond a regular item level obtained from Epic Bountiful Chest. It's called Delver's Bounty Map and you can get it from running Delves and losing chests at the end of a Delve. Delver's Bounty Map guarantees that the next Delve you complete on the same difficulty or higher will contain an Epic Chest called Hidden Trove with increased rewards. We don't know yet how rare this treasure map is supposed to be or the intended drop chance I only saw it twice in blue chests when doing bountiful delves, which makes sense given that you have a limited number of those available every day. It is also unclear whether increased item level from these epic chests are meant to be higher than normal. A tier 8 bounty map that I've completed dropped more valor stones, more under coin, a 610 item level hero track boots and gilded harbinger crests that are meant for upgrading mythic level gear. That is just bonkers. But I guess it's one of the things that will keep people grinding delves for much longer into the season. Now that the gearing part of the delves is sorted, let's talk about other cool things we'll obtain via delves. Delves Dirigible is a sky riding mount that can be customized to your liking via cosmetics for chase slash obtained by doing delves. There are also toys, hats and other transmog that can be obtained each season. There's even warbound gear that you can send to your alts and give them a kickstart. And before we move on, on to my final thoughts, as promised I will show you a first ever Delves Great Vault. The Great Vault slots are unlocked for completing 3, 6 and 12 Delves. Since I've done all 12 Delves, 
the week before, I get to choose from three slots. So first option is Hero Track 616 item level cloak. I get for completing tier 10 delve, which is the same as tier 8 as it's capped. My second option is Hero Track 616 high level wrists, reward for completing tier 8 delves as well. And a third option, 597 high level champion ring. This one is a reward from tier 4 delves. So Delve's loot pool looks a lot like the World Quest one. I wonder if it's possible to get tier set from it. Similar to how Mythic Plus can reward tier pieces. Guess we'll have to wait and see what Blizzard decides to do. So what are my final thoughts on a Delve rewards in a war within? Well, as it stands at the moment, it seems to be an efficient way to gear up in preparation for heroic raid level content. And one of the quickest ways to gear up your ults. The fact it doesn't provide as much gear as dungeons means it won't replace Mythic Plus spam for gear, but it's definitely a preferred choice for solo players. No need to look for groups if your guild or friend group isn't online, do it at your own pace. Start a delve, go FK, come back 10 minutes later, collect your rewards. It is a very attractive game mode for a lot of casual players, including myself. Well, that's it for me. But what are your thoughts on the War Within Delph rewards? Do you think it's good enough? Too much? Perhaps you'll do them anyway. Let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.